Indian election authorities have repeatedly claimed that the nation's electronic voting machines are tamper-proof. But in this video, security researchers demonstrate several ways that criminals could tamper with the machines to steal votes and change the outcome of elections. These attacks would be very difficult to detect, but they are actually quite simple. Probably a million people in India have the necessary skills. Imagine going to the polls and being given a ballot. After filling it out, you are shown a brand new electronic voting machine that consists of a large box with a curtain. There is a man behind the curtain, and when you approach, he snatches your ballot. He then shreds it into pieces and tells you you have voted. When the polls close and counting time comes, the man behind the curtain hands over a piece of paper on which he has kept an honest count, or so he claims. Electronic voting machines are no more trustworthy than a stranger behind a curtain. India is the world's largest democracy, and for about a decade, nearly all votes have been cast on electronic voting machines, or EVMs. They consist of a control unit used by poll workers and a ballot unit inside the polling booth. There is a single race, and the ballot unit has one button for each candidate. Let's run a small election using a real EVM. When a voter arrives, poll workers press this button to allow one vote. The voter then presses the button for their candidate, and the vote is cast. Let's give each candidate three votes. Later, the votes are read from the EVM during a public counting session. The display shows that candidate one wins with seven votes, but something is wrong. That number was supposed to be three. Somehow, one vote has been stolen from each of the other candidates. Now we'll open the machine and show you how we tampered with it. Indian election officials haven't let voters see inside. The EVM contains a simple computer with a processor and memory to store votes. We made the machine cheat by tampering with the hardware. We opened the machine and replaced the real display with this dishonest look-alike version, which lies about the election results. As you can see, the two displays look nearly identical. We built our version in a few weeks from parts costing just a few dollars. Under the displays, we had a small chip that replaces the real results with dishonest ones, and a Bluetooth radio that lets us wirelessly signal who should win. Criminals could install a dishonest display at any time before the votes are counted, possibly years before the election. Here's a second way criminals could cheat. They could also change votes while the machines are stored between the election and the public counting session. To prove this, we built a small vote-stealing tool. It has a dial to select the winning candidate, and it clips directly to the memory chips that store the votes in the EVM. The attacker just attaches it momentarily, and it rewrites the votes. This attack leaves no traces and makes sure our favorite candidate wins. Another alarming problem is that the software that counts the votes is stored in chips that are designed so that the software cannot be read back out. This means not even the Election Commission of India, India's highest election authority, can verify that the correct software is in the EVMs. Yet the software in the chips could be dishonest or the real chips could be replaced by dishonest look-alikes, and nobody could tell. Meanwhile, experts for the Election Commission of India seem to think that the fact that nobody can verify the software actually makes the EVMs more secure. The program itself is frozen. It cannot be entered. It cannot be read. Even the BEL and ECL cannot read what is in the program. Remember the man behind the curtain? What if that unreadable code is dishonest? Indian elections employ safeguards against fraud, but this does not prevent our attacks. One safeguard is that poll workers perform a small mock election to test the machines before voting starts. However, it would be easy to program a dishonest machine so that it cheats only after hundreds of votes are cast. Everything would seem normal during the mock election, but the real election results would be dishonest. Another safeguard is that election officials place seals on various parts of the machine. 
Yet these seals are easy to tamper with. Most consist of a sticker or a piece of string and some red wax. Scientists don't really know how to make seals that cannot be cheaply faked or tampered with, even in applications such as nuclear facilities. Low-tech voting machine seals are an extremely weak defense. People also point out that the order of the candidates is not determined until a few weeks before voting. This is believed to limit the amount of time an attacker has to manipulate the machines. But remember the Bluetooth radio on our dishonest display? Either at the polling stations or at the counting session, a mobile phone with a special application can be used to tell the display which candidate should win. You have witnessed attacks that can change election results on real EVMs in real scenarios. We believe this settles the debate. India's EVMs can be tampered with to steal votes. Paperless electronic voting systems are never transparent and are inherently insecure. The use of paperless EVMs has been discontinued in California, Florida, Ireland, the Netherlands, and Germany. India would be wise to follow suit. For more information, visit indiaevm.org.